So here is the dilemma. We get put uh, with questions like this, and we go to our calculator, and we only have the LOG key, which is base 10, and the LN, the natural log, which is the natural base E. So how in the world, if I don't have a graphing calculator, can I actually find this value? Well, mathematicians were pretty smart. Let me show you this formula they came up with. They start by writing, I wish I knew what this was. And I'm just going to put in because I don't know. And they're like, oh yeah, a logarithm is the inverse of an exponential. So if I divide 4 repeatedly into 17, I can get this. This becomes my power of 4 that creates 17. So I can write 4 to the power of n equals 17. Now I know that still hasn't solved my problem, but here's the cool thing. Remember in math, if you put a function on one side, you can do the function on the other. Well, look what happens. I only have in the log key or an ln key, and I'm going to use log for my calculator. So if I log the left side, I better log the right side to keep it fair. Remember those properties you've been working on? How this power can now come out and be a multiplier? That's the key here. That comes down and multiplies. And we wish we knew what n was. So the inverse of multiplying between here is divide. And you'll notice we have now been able to rewrite this problem so that our regular old calculator can solve it. We can use the log of 17 and divide it by the log of 4. Now, that's called the change of base formula. Let's see if it worked. So log, oops. I did it backwards. I need 17 logarithmed divided by 4 logarithmed equals that. So if I take that number and raise my power, that as my power to 4, it kind of makes sense. 4 squared would be 16, and just a little bit more would make us 17. So we can actually calculate that without actually needing a special calculator. Okay, this is called the change of base formula, and this is how they write it. If you have log base B of A, and you can use whatever letters you want, this is impossible to put in our calculator unless it's a 10 or an E, okay? So we can find this as the logarithm of A divided by the logarithm of B, and that's using the LOG key on your calculator, or it really doesn't matter. These two have to be the same type of logarithm. So you could use the LN key on your calculator, LN of A over LN of B. All right, just a fancy dancy formula so that you can now find any logarithm using a basic calculator. All right, have a good time with this formula. Bye.